for Unit 5, Day 1 Notes, we are going to be graphing linear systems. So what is a linear system? Um, it, is a, or it is called the system of linear equations, also known as a linear system, and that is two or more linear equations at the same time. So here in all of these problems, I give you two equations, okay? That means that you're going to be graphing linear systems. So for the first one, we can enlarge this a little bit, we're going to have to review our graphing skills. So for the first equation, we're going to start at positive 2 on the y-axis. And my slope right here is a 1. But to make it a fraction, you put it over 1, so 1 over 1, meaning that you're going to go up 1, right 1. And you're going to do that several times. But we're also going to go down 1, left 1. and then you're going to draw your line. Okay, then for the second equation, we're going to start at negative 2, and my slope is 3, so I put that over 1, so I'm going to go up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, also down 3, left 1. So these points are connected by a line as well. And you can see that when you graphed it, the two lines intersected. And if they intersect, that is considered one solution. But to further that, you have to state what is the solution. So where do they meet at? They meet at 2, 4. Part B, we start the graph at a positive 2, and we're going to go up to right 1, making that a fraction 2 over 1. Also, we're going to go down to left 1. and graphing our line. In the second equation, we start at negative 4 on the y-axis, and our slope is 2 over 1 again, so we have the same slope. So from negative 4, go up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1, and we just continue to do that. We're also going to go down to left one. All right, so here the two lines don't touch. Um, and a matter of fact, they're called parallel lines. And because they are parallel lines where they don't touch, you will never be able to get a solution. So this is no solution. Okay? In letter C, we need to uh, go ahead and graph, starting at negative 2. And our slope is 1, so we're going to go up 1, right 1. Again, and then just keep doing that over and over. And then down 1, left 1. Okay, so then if you notice, the second equation is exactly the same. So if I were to start at negative 2, put my point, and then go up 1 over 1, I'm at the same point. I'm at the same point. I'm at the same point. So what happens is basically you have these two lines that are on top of each other. They share every single point, which then means they are many solutions. Because they, they have every single point together. The lines are infinitely long, so it's many solutions. All right. Looking at letter D, we see that our equations are completely different. Okay. So starting at the positive 4, 
Okay, we're going to start here at positive 4 on the y. And we're going to go up to right 3. And then down to left 3. Then we start at negative 4. And we're going to go down to right 1. Up to left 1. And we did have an intersection point over here. So this is a one solution, but you need to state the solution. So let's put in here that it's one solution. And the solution would be negative 3, 2.